Now what happens is in Excel, date is stored as a number and time is stored as a decimal part of the number. So when you combine a date and time using the addition operator, that is simply adding time into the date. It gives you date and time into the single cell. So basically, if I try to convert it back to a number, so the integer part of this number is date and the decimal part, the fractional part is time. So once you add date and time, all you need to do is, is to apply the format. But Excel is smart enough whenever you combine date and time, it will give that format automatically to the cell, but you can use a format that you want to apply. So, so I'll open the custom formatting here. I'll go to a custom format and I'll use a custom format here. And I'm going to add format for time as well. And there's one more way to combine date and time and that's by using concat and text function. So with the text function, I will format date and time separately and with concat, I will combine them. So I'll specify the date first and then I'll specify the format that I want. Now in the second argument, before I specify the time, I need to specify a space to use in between. And again, I'm going to use text, specify the time and now specify the time format. And now the moment I hit enter, it gives me date and time in a single set. 